How a Muay Thai fighter should eat? You probably know that diet is one of the most important thing in preparation for a fighter. And yes, that is true. If you don't eat well, you won't fight good. Better fuel, better performance. But, but how should you eat to have a better performance in the gym? Because if you have a good performance in your training, you will have a good performance in competitions. And in this video, I'm going to tell you my personal strategy that I use that helps me have a better performance in my training and in my competition. If you're new to this channel, my name is Flavi and I'm a professional K1 fighter with 30 wins and 8 losses and I'm head coach at the Samurai team here in Deva and it will mean a lot to me if you subscribe to this channel. And now let's get to the video. You probably heard you must have 5 meals per day. Breakfast, snack, lunch, breakfast, dinner and that is advertised for years and years on. But is really that true? I I really tried that for a long time in my early days as a fighter and it didn't work for me. It was tough, I was thinking a lot about food from uh, in the morning after the breakfast until uh, to the dinner. I thought about the food all day long, like what I will eat for snack, what I will eat for lunch, for another snack, after training, dinner and so on. It was really tiring and stressful for me to do that thing until I discovered intermittent fasting. Yes, that is a great tool. And I personally use it and my students use it because it's an easy, simple tool to use. You can eat bigger meals, satisfying meals, and you won't think about food all day long. You can train, eat, and then relax, train, eat again. And if you're a fighter and you're training two times per day, this will really go good for you. And this protocol uses Jules St. Pierre, Ronda Rousey, it's only one meal a day and a lot of fighters are trying to use this protocol. And I will share my personal strategy and what and how I eat when I'm breaking my fast and maybe it will help you, you know, get in touch about this and learn about this, uh, apply it and maybe it will work for you and it will help you get better performance. It helps me, my students, and that's why I'm telling you this because this is a good strategy and I will guarantee it will help you improve your trainings. You probably heard about intermittent fasting. You have to fast for 16 hours and you have an 8 hour window where you eat. And I don't really like that restricting time to eat because and you're thinking to eat as much as you can in that 8 hour window and you can eat uh, too much in that eight hour window. You can eat fast food and you're finished with your calories. But my personal strategy is I fast for five or six hours after I wake up. So let's say you wake up at seven. You will start eating at one, two. This sounds simple. You start with an apple or a banana, some fruit to start your digestion. Then you eat a big, satisfying meal. Who doesn't enjoy a big satisfying meal? I try to stick to whole foods like beef, chicken and some pork from time to time, potatoes. I like potatoes. I eat potatoes a lot with some veggies, with cauliflower, broccoli, uh, carrots and a big salad now that uh, you know uh, tomatoes and everything is in season. I like to eat natural food. I eat a big meal. I get up satisfied, not hungry from a table because we are fighters. We are warriors. We need food. So you don't have to get up from the table, you know, hungry. You will think about food every day. And that's not a good strategy. That it's not a good way. Maybe for bodybuilders, that is a good way. But I know bodybuilders that use intermittent fasting and have great results. And if I'm training, in the afternoon, let's say I eat a big meal at two o'clock. I eat some beef with potatoes, with a salad, and I eat big, <sighs> satisfying. I stay for one hour, then I'm starting to move. And at five, six p.m., I work out hard, intense for two hours. And then at dinner, I have a light, delicious meal because I'm already satisfied for my lunch. I eat some eggs with some chicken and some salad with some avocado and that is all for me. And you're in a little bit caloric deficit 
you lose weight, you have energy, you don't think about food and you feel great. This doesn't sound great for you? Try it. I do this for three years now and it helped me a lot. I'm maintaining my weight class, I have energy, I don't stress about food and even if I go out and I have a birthday party, I can eat cake, I don't stress myself because if I eat once per week a cheat meal, yeah, this is one meal, you have 21 meals in a week, one meal won't make a difference, yes, 20 meals, 20 cheat meals makes a difference, you understand? So it's good to have one day where you have cheat meals or two, two days per week where you indulge yourself in, you know, a beer, a, a wine, scotch, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be stressful. If, you, if it's stressful and you're thinking about food, you won't succeed and you won't focus on what matters, training. That matters, how you train, how you work out, what do you have to do to become a better fighter, to become a stronger, better fighter. And I, I tried the Mike Tyson diet and I didn't like it because it was with uh, four meals and I was, you know, thinking about meals and not focusing on training. It was hard for me. If I had two big meals, it was great. But I, he didn't have, so I did what he did. But that's not the point. The point is that try to fast for five or six hours after you wake up, eat some fruit before you start eating, then eat a big meal with protein and some veggies, and at dinner eat again some protein with some veggies, and that will be great. Even the Thai fighters in Thailand, they rarely eat something in the morning, a glass of milk or some OJ, but not all the time. They have a big meal at 12, 1, because at 3, 4, they start training again. And a, a dinner at 7, 8 p.m. Depends on where you are. This is how warriors eat. This is how warriors train. So if you want to become a great fighter, if you want to improve your performance in the gym, give this a try. Comment down below. Let me know how this is going for you. Try it for 30 days. You won't lose anything. You only gain experience and I will guarantee it will help you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share it, stay strong, be unstoppable champ.